Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to reverse a string. Let's say we have given a string to this Java program that is Alexander and this Java program has to reverse the string like this. That is R is the last letter will come first. The last but one letter will come second, then D, then N, then A, X, E, L, A. This is how we can reverse a string. Now, how to write the Java program so that we can reverse this given string. For that, initially, we'll convert this string into the character array. First, we'll convert this string into the character array. I'll show you programmatically how to convert a string into the character array. Once this string is converted into the character array, each and every character will be stored at a particular index, right? In this character array, this each and every character will be stored at a particular index. Let's say A is there, L, E, X, A, N, D, E, R. After converting this string into the character array, each and every character of this particular given string will be stored at a particular index. A will be at index zero. L will, L will be at index one, E is two, index two, and uh, X at index three. A again, A at index four, like that. Keep on going. It will start from the index zero and so on. Six, seven, and eight, right? So if you want to, if you want to reverse this particular string, First, I will access the index eight. If I print the index eight, R will be printed. Then after the index eight, I'll retrieve this index seven, that is E. So this is the way of uh, reversing the string, guys. And let me now show you programmatically how to convert this string into the character array and thereafter, how to access the last index from the last onwards to reverse this particular string. In a programmatical way, let me show you. First of all, I'll store this original string in the Java program like this string str is equal to Alexander. Now, what I will do is I will convert this string into the character array as I mentioned. str dot, there is a predefined method of string class that is to care array. This predefined method will convert this particular string into the character array. You see, character array is the return type. I will name this uh, thing as ca over the mouse and say create local variable. You see character array CA is equal to str dot to character. Now the CA will store all these characters of this particular string in an array format like this. A will be at index uh, zero and one will be at index one, E at index two and so on. So what is the size of this character array? Size is nothing but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is the size of the character array. In size is equal to CA dot. I have to use this uh, predefined variable of the array that is length. This will give the size of the array. CA dot length, that is nothing but nine. In this case, Alexander is given. Alexander size is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That nine will be stored in the size. Now I'll be writing the for loop for int i is equal to this size. That is the size of this character array. Size minus one. What is size minus one means here? Total size is nine. The character size size is nine. Nine minus one is nine minus one is eight. So what is there at the index eight? R. That's why I gave minus one here, guys. Size minus one. For getting the index, the size of the complete array is nine, and the last index value is eight. It will start from zero to eight. Total nine are there, but zero to eight. To get this eight, I have to say int i is equal to size minus one. It will start at this index eight. Then I will say i greater than or equal to zero. Till zero, we have to come. From eight to zero, we have to come in a reverse way, right? So that's why I'm giving greater than or equal to zero. Then semicolon i minus minus, minus minus. So for every iteration, the value of i will be decreased by one. Initially, the value of i is nine minus one, that is size minus one, that is eight. So in every iteration, the i will become minus one. So first it is eight, then seven, then six, five, till zero it will come, right? Now, what I will do is, 
here i'll create one more thing string reversed string is equal to initially i'll put this string as nothing okay so even i didn't provide any space also just i provided the double quotes without any space this is a reverse string initially so for every iteration what i will do is i will append this reversed string like this reverse string is equal to reverse string plus this ca character array ca of i i will say just understand this program clearly guys okay now let me walk through so what happens here is initially alexander is there we are converting that into the character array like this so here at every index one of the character of this uh, given string will be stored after converting into the character array a will be stored at 0 or will be stored at 8 that's fine now you found the size that is 9 you gave the size minus 1 because you need to get i is equal to 8 at the end right because last character of this uh, is at the index 8 so we have to give size minus 1 till that fine so i is equal to size minus 1 is 8 9 minus 1 that is 8 i is equal to 8 8 is greater than or equal to 0 true or false it's true so we'll go inside the for loop here reverse string is nothing here nothing plus ca of i is 8 initially i is 8 ca of 8 what is stored at the index 8 in this character array nothing but this one r so r will be retrieved and attached to this reverse string r will be retrieved from the character array and will be attached to this reverse string so reverse string will have r for now after that i minus minus here i value was 8 right initially the i value was 8 now i minus minus means it will be 7 7 greater than equal to 0 true again so we'll go inside the for loop now reverse string is r already to this reverse string r we are appending ca of i now i is 7 ca of 7 is ca of 7 is e so e will be appended to the r here reverse string is r and ca of i is e so r e r e will be stored in the reverse string and i minus minus i will become 6 6 greater than or equal to 0 true again we'll go inside the for loop and uh, reverse string is r e r e plus ca of 6 ca of 6 is d so d will be appended like this so to the r e this particular d will be appended r e d red red will be stored into the reverse string again we'll go here i minus minus it will become 5 5 5 greater than equal to 0 when 5 is greater than equal to 0 that is true we'll go inside the for loop and uh, reverse string is already r e d and ca of 5 is ca of 5 is n so to this r e d n will be appended r e d n r e d to this red this ca of i that is n will be appended it will go on okay i minus minus i will become 4 4 greater than equal to 0 again red n ca of i is ca of 4 is a here a will be appended a then again i minus minus it will become 3 3 greater than equal to 0 red n a plus ca of 3 what is ca of 3 ca of 3 is x So x will be appended here. So x will be appended here. Then i minus minus it will become two. Still two is greater than equal to zero. Then this particular thing with c of two. C of two is e. So e will be appended. E will be appended. Then after that i minus minus i will become one. One greater than equal to zero. Reverse string is this one plus c of one. What is c of one? is l so l will be appended l will be appended then then i minus minus it will become zero zero is also greater than equal to zero it is still true so this one will be appended with the ca of zero that is this capital a done capital a will be appended again i minus minus it will become minus 1 minus 1 is greater than or equal to zero it's false it will come out of the for loop so by this time this particular string got reversed you see this reverse string will be storing this red n a x e l a that's r e d n a x e l a right it's completely reversed 
now at the end of this program we'll print out like the system dot out dot print ln we'll print the reverse string whatever the string you provide here that will be reversed here copy this reverse string and paste it here now run this program right click run as java application you see alexander will be reversed like this you see it's fully reversed without using any predefined methods just by using the logic we were able to reverse the given string text alexander is perfectly reversed here so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to reverse a given string so that's it guys thank you bye